Um, Feta, Dunya, Andre, could you do it? Andre? Andre, you with me? О, Андрея нету. Только что было, только нет. А, Джен, вы как на Андрея? Давайте корнинцы устроим. Андрей, ты не сравнил его. Goodness, what power I have. Even though I'm deaf. <laughs> All righty then. Let's let's uh, try again. Dima. Dima, did you listen to one of the uh, anecdotes? Да, 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 вам причем анекдот, это не только, э, даже бывает не столько анекдот, да, а какой-то рассказ о жизни. Ну, а um, working down the list here. Um, uh, Yulia, were you able to uh, listen to one of the anecdotes? Yulia, mm -hmm. were you Yeah. Ah, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Can you speak about it? And can you talk about it? Uh, yes, of course. I listen to a story with a synopsis here, and this uh, was the speaker uh, about um, he uh, talked uh, uh, about uh, um, when he was uh, little children, uh, he and uh, his father and uh, his little brother are born in America and he didn't uh, know about things uh, living. And, um, um, and uh, he, uh, uh, with uh, his brother, uh, to want to know about his uh, this holiday, and uh, and he uh, uh, to ask his father that he uh, to come uh, in, uh, into his uh, uh, friends. Uh, his name is. Oh, his name is uh, um, John Jackson. Uh -huh, John Jackson uh, 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 to say uh, that um, he uh, has a tradition uh, in this uh, holiday uh, to um, uh, to cook a um, to cook uh, a pumpkin pie and uh, he um, to give uh, uh, his uh, this pumpkin pie and he uh, cut uh, this pie and eat it and uh, eat it and uh, he um, don't uh, don't like this pie because uh, it was uh, not cooking pie. 
it was it was a false and she cut and it froze occupy and next day he talked to Johnson about it and he said he said that must the spy in oven and cook it and bake it and then pumpkin pie was a favorite of mine at Thinking Given and his wife say that when the pumpkin pie is after the cooked uh, he likes it. Uh, it is um, how to say it is uh, funny history because he eat uh, not uh, cooking pumpkin pie and he don't like mm, me yes uh, and uh, then uh, when he to bake it it was a uh, very like uh, very like it for this uh, holiday. Mm. Well, that's like the Shiraki. So you, what, what's, what's the main idea? Like mm, main idea is that uh, this uh, holiday uh, has a um, tradition uh, when um, it is uh, very old tradition uh, when on the uh, on the um, holiday table. Uh, Say, um, or, or must be a pumpkin pie and uh, must uh, be um, turkey with uh, uh, cranberry sauce, yes, in the copper sauce. Uh, what? Mm. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is tradition uh, about uh, uh, American uh, people uh, uh, when American people to uh, to observe uh, observe observe uh, this tradition, uh, but the uh, new people how uh, the uh, how the uh, how the house uh, Fernandez don't know about this tradition when mm -hmm. he come to America. They just didn't know they were supposed to heat the pie. They they got a pie that was frozen, and they ate it that way because they didn't know any better. And they probably couldn't read the instructions. But for them now, the this food, a pumpkin pie, helps them think about celebrating and being grateful for what they had. Um, and let's see. 
I, I do have an image. Um, Costa, if you can uh, uh, pass me the, the uh, presenter tool, I will uh, upload an, one image. But I do have that, and it's not an American. It's a Soviet image. may have to adjust it so you can <laughs> fit it in the viewer in order to be able to see the whole thing. Um, is this image you've seen before? the screen. Okay, yes, I would like to know what it says. I think this is celebrating the production. как по-русски WebEx, WebEx по-русски ЦУЧ. The mutant corn, I love it. Mutant. Кукуруза мутант. Ну, я не знаю. This is the beginning of mutant corn discussions and GMOs, a hot topic for a lot of people in this country. Um, do you hear about GMOs? Um, are there people opposed to them, or is this all about increasing production? Ah, a lot of Americans don't care either about this, um, but um, uh, this is one of the posters that I would associate with a harvest festival. Um, the, it's genetically modified. A genetic, genetically modified. Ah, cheaper. Hmm. No, I don't think so. It's not a question of money for the uh, the consumer. This is all about uh, production 
and greater yield. Um, and because I live in Iowa, this is the center of GMO research. Uh, because it's a big grain producing state. Um, we have products that are called Roundup Ready. And they resist insecticides. And herbicides. So uh, they can spray the crops for bugs and weeds and it, it doesn't bother the corn. And this is very disturbing uh, to environmentalists. Because although it doesn't bother the corn, they're afraid of poison. Roundup is a poison. Um, and why do I always wind up talking about politics? Um, so uh, everyone is getting ready for a big feast here. And that's on Thursday. And both of my colleagues, Professor Smith and Professor Lero, are traveling long distances to uh, be together with their family. So uh, that's why they're not here today. And so I would like very much if we um, if we hear from Sita so that she can t tell us about her story. And well, thank you. Anything you can write down from what she says, a keyword, um, an idea. Don't be afraid. You don't have to write down whole sentences. Please, everybody, try to write one thing. Mm -hmm. My story is about the grant. Zeta, can you do this? Yes. Yeah. Let me see. Okay. Uh, my story is about the grant. Meet. This is a family. And uh, two days before Thanksgiving Day, uh, something happened uh, that changed their life. Uh, it was last grand uh, she's wife and mother of two children, and she uh, told all truth about herself. Uh, she was afraid to lose her husband and kids, but her husband supported her and said that they would work it out. And she turned out transitioning. I hope everybody understands what does it mean. And of course, uh, first time after the transition, it was difficult uh, for her husband. But later, he decided that for him, he is a person anyway. And after the last 
and after that uh, let has deeper respect to him than ever before. And when Les uh, tried to explain the whole situation to her daughter, uh, she was terrified if uh, if the girl um, uh, changed uh, their mind and will be suffered from it. Because uh, usually girls are closer to their mom and uh, as they were children they understood that uh, if the lad uh, didn't want to be their mother but when they grown up but now they are grown they have grown up and they think that it was a right decision of their father that he didn't let leave their mom and now um, the uh, good family, <laughs> despite of this fact, that is all. <coughs> So there is something about who had the sex change? Yes, transition, yes. Transition, ah. Transgender, transgender, like, uh-huh. And I have a question. understand the connection between this anecdote and Thanksgiving Day either, except it's something about gratitude. He's grateful that she was able to um, keep everyone happy that she could she could be honest and uh, come out with the right feelings uh, and undergo this chin gender change without losing the love or respect of I guess I should say her his family mm -hmm. so um, do you know anyone in Russia who has undergone this um, this change? Someone who's had a sex change. Oh, so you think there might be some Russian celebrities who have, uh, who were born uh, a man and changed to a woman, or uh, were born uh, a woman? Ah. And who is Verka Sedushka? <laughs> 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 
Помогите мне, такая. You can find a picture in uh, online and upload it into Webex. Какую-нибудь такую, чтобы не напугать человека. Все страшно. Мне как скидывать ссылку или что? No, no, no. Uh, can, can you upload it into Webex so that we could? Right. Boy George never had, uh, he was always just a, uh, a cross-dresser. And, uh, and that was his profession. There have been some famous people like that. at Drake University, um, there is a, a fairly well-known group of um, both lesbians and gay men. Um, I'm guessing 
that that's not true of your institution. Um, there is a social organization for uh, GLBT. I'm here. I'm just uh, having a hard time connecting to um, the conversation. <laughs> I I did get the picture, and um, and so um, I'm guessing that. Um, there are different attitudes. Let's see. I, I asked a question and I didn't get an answer. So let me try that. Um, the question is, do you personally know anyone who um, is LGBT? And is it comfortable for, uh, say, a lesbian or a gay man to come out in public? Okay. It is comfortable for them, but not in Osk. Ah, uh, yes. That's what I thought. This is um, something that's very common now, and here it's very common for people to think nothing of it, and so um, I'm guessing that 
it's not legal. Ah, here's a legal question. The legal question is, is it legal to, for, for gays to marry? in Russia. Uh, that's a big question in the United States. In some states, it's legal. Um, I don't know about Nevada. Las Vegas is in Nevada, and it's different from state by state. Uh, Nevada, oddly enough, is very conservative politically. Uh, in Iowa, it's legal. And now California and Massachusetts. And I think Vermont. Ah, uh, yes, Washington. And Oregon, uh, it was questionable. It has a number of interesting legal issues. And, um, it is being debated um, in several European countries. France, for example, is, uh, has a law that they're trying to pass to make it legal for um, LGBTs to marry. Ah, in Holland. Yes, I think that is correct. And this is a hot issue in so many ways. And this is such a long way from um, the gratitude of Thanksgiving. Um, and actually, I see that we are at the end of our time. And um, so uh, let me conclude. The, for next week, I, uh, you will expect to hear from Professor Smith. about, uh, with some other uh, recorded audio stories, I think also from StoryCorps. So you will, um, you'll have a similar assignment to what you had this time. Uh, where you will be reading, uh, listening, uh, oh, why did I guess, or I, I guess because Okay, why wonder? Um, I have worked with Professor Smith and Lero for many years now. And uh, I don't think that uh, where my path wanders is going to uh, 
surprise any of them. And why I guessed uh, that you were um, uh, uncomfortable with this, it's because, um, uh, yeah, it's because of uh, the things that you said. Um, and, um, you yeah, know, you certainly have a right to those beliefs. And I, um, I have a different context. And, uh, and so I can, um, I can appreciate your discomfort in uh, those, and maybe even your indignation. Um, but I think that you would find here that sentiment was something that you wouldn't want to uh, comment on too publicly. And just in the same way as um, for other gender related issues, you might find uh, it, um, you find, if you are, um, if you have any problem with women being equal to men, or um, in in any way, the workplace, uh, socially, uh, if you think that women aren't as smart as men, um, um, then that would be a much bigger problem in the States. And so, so it, yeah, Uh, it's okay to be, to have LGBT marriage somewhere else but not in Russia? Okay, now you're going to have to explain yourself. I don't get it. Unless it's what we call, we call NIMBY. Have you ever heard that expression? So uh, Russians are different than the rest of the human race. We're going to have to have another conversation about this at some point, I can tell. Um, we'll have to wait until Ilya gets his microphone back and then we'll really let the fur fly. <laughs> so um, this has been tru truly uh, fun and interesting, and I'm so sorry I couldn't hear you today. I look forward to hearing the recording. And uh, we will resume this uh, next week. So thank you very much for your patience.
and um, we'll uh, this just keeps being fun. Thank you very much. Bye.